Hello guys, today I want to show you a few examples of task scheduling in Laravel. So for example, if you want to have some artisan command or even bash script command running every hour or every day or once per day or daily at 8 a.m. or something like that. I have a few examples of that gathered in my Laravel examples project and also we will base our video on the documentation of task scheduling on Laravel and I will explain it step by step how it works and what are the options. So the first example that you have seen on the screen is from Titan Laravel version open source repository and it is this. There's a file app console kernel, which is provided by default Laravel, and inside of the schedule function, you do schedule command, and this represents your artisan command, or artisan call to that command, and then you specify the time. So for example, hourly it's once per hour, so at something dot zero zero minutes, or daily at 8 a.m. with time zone of New York. And if we go to that repository and search for fetch Laravel version, so every repository in my Laravel examples contains link to GitHub and we search for fetch Laravel versions. We land on the command fetch latest release numbers. So this is a project of Laravel versions history and this is an artisan command and handle is launched once per hour. So if we have any new Laravel versions which are fetched from the GitHub, fetch version from GitHub is another private method that launches GitHub API. So we fetch Laravel versions once per hour. And also there is a tweet about important dates of Laravel versions. For example, something is expiring or some version is not actively supported anymore. So there will be a tweet daily at 8 a.m. So this is how you can schedule your artisan commands in the file app console kernel. Now, how does it work behind the scenes and how is it automatically launched every hour? If we take a look at the official documentation of task scheduling, majority of the page is about artisan commands and how to write them. So schedule command here, scheduling queue jobs, what you can schedule. So basically the syntax of that file of app console kernel of this one. But down below in the documentation, if we click on running the scheduler, here's the mechanism behind the scenes. So on your server, you need to add a cron job and cron task, which will be launched every minute. So these stars represent every minute, then CD to your project and run PHP artisan schedule run. So every minute you run that schedule run command artisan, which in itself checks that schedule and runs everything that fits the condition, whether it's hourly. So is it already an hour that we need to launch that one or this one? So checks all of those conditions and runs that artisan command. So two steps, if you want to run that scheduler, add that cron job like this from the documentation and then fill in console kernel file. That's it. And let's take a look at a few more examples of how other people schedule their tasks. So for example, in open litter map project, which is open source, again, I will link all of that in the show notes to GitHub. So sitemap generate is just the artisan command that generates the sitemap XML sitemap for Google sitemap, for example. And the third example is much more complicated from open door me open source project. Here's how many artisan commands are scheduled with different options. So apart from artisan calling the command, you can specify the full class of the command. So GitHub organization repositories class is actually here. It's also an artisan command, but you specify the class in the command without even knowing how it is called in the terminal. So you can specify the class and you can even provide the parameters to that class like this. So you specify the array of parameters with dash dash hours, dash dash unfinished. Also, you can specify keywords like every five minutes, twice daily or daily at. Also, you can specify on one server, specify environments where it should be launched. And you can read about all of that in the official documentation. So if we scroll up a bit, running tasks on one server, it's one section of the documentation and other syntax parameters are listed here. So I will link task scheduling documentation page also in the description below. And I have a few more examples, but it's enough for this video. I guess there are seven examples in laravelexamples.com, so you can check them out. They are all about the file app console kernel, and you can check which other artisan commands are launched from other open source projects. That's it for this time. Subscribe to the channel because I'm shooting videos daily now and see you guys in other videos.